hello guys so welcome back to a new black desert mobile guide video in this video guys i'm gonna have a guide about how to get more food guys okay more food in the game and you're gonna see why food is so important you'll see how you can get hundreds of thousands of food daily okay so let's get started guys food okay so what is food guys well food is one of the main resources that you use mostly in camp camp related stuff uh, and uh, let's see what you use it for well uh, main thing is to upgrade buildings so if you want to upgrade all your build buildings and you should do that uh, guess what you need food okay it costs you food so as you can see you need the materials plus food Okay, so you need food to upgrade to max all your buildings because that way you get more resources okay you get more benefits from upgrading all the buildings okay next thing what you need it you need to uh, send your workers to gather stuff gather resources okay like foraging logging timing mining and fishing so all this when you send them it requires food what else for if you want to craft in here like if you want to get more stamina oh wait not for stamina you ah, you still use food yeah you still use, use food and other resources if you want to craft guys very important cron stones okay cron stones are very hard to get and guess what you need lots of food so let's see if you need to craft like just for 20 you need 12,000 food well i am kind of low now on food but i'm gonna try to get more so as you can see there are so many ways to use plus the main thing guys is merchantry so merchantry to send your workers even if you do it dispatch mode or on uh, or manually you need food as you can see here at this level level 80 i need guys uh, to consume 45,000 food so yeah that's a lot of food that you need to use now um, per one run and you can do two runs so that's 90,000 food so as you can see there are so many reasons to get the food so food is vital guys for this game okay okay let's see which are the best ways which are those ways that you can reach a lot of food per day okay so first you need to know about the food storage try to max the food storage to level 20 why that means you can store up to 200,000 food in the future maybe they will upgrade Plus you produce 10 food every 10 minutes, that means 60 food per hour. So in total in one day, how much food is 60 multiplied by 24 hours, that's 1440 food, okay? Just from here. But the most important thing, is not a lot, the most important thing is the capacity. 200,000 food that you can store per day. Okay, so let's see what else we have the gardens okay so you if you max okay your camp okay your town hall you should be able guys to uh, you should be able to craft up to to build up to four gardens okay so you see them right here and each garden you have nine uh, spots where you can plant different uh, let's say you can add different plants okay so nine by uh, three by three that's nine so in total how many plants you can put so nine multiplied by four gardens that's 36 36 plants let's see which is the best plant to add in here so let's go okay and we need to go to the merchant the ven seed vendor okay so you can find them in every town and let's check 
let's start from uh, this one this is the most expensive you'll think that this one will be the best well let's see how much every 20 hours you get two two thousand five food so that means uh, if we have how many 36 spots to plant okay so 36 of these uh, seeds we can plant in those uh, four gardens you multiply 2005 by 36 that's 72,180 per day every 20 hours around one day okay let's see the next one saguaro seed this you get 900 food for uh, every eight hours okay so that means for this one you get 900 multiplied by 3 that 2700 uh, per seed per day multiply by 36 uh, spots where you can plant that's 97200 guys so it's more it's more than 72000 by 25000 that's a lot more no so like i said you'll be tempted to think this is the best or not this one but every eight hours you have to go and claim or you can use the uh, irene camp manager so yeah okay let's see how about this one hot pepper every three hours you get 405 food so that means uh, in theory if you don't sleep <laughs> every three hours if you collect you have uh, 400 multiplied by 8 times because 24 hours you have and if you divide 24 by 3 you get 8 times uh, you can claim collect and that means 3240 okay per day for one seed that's a lot multiply by 36 that's 116,640 so a lot more but you have to sleep so let's say maybe you claim you can claim up to seven times you still get 102,000 uh, food per day guys so more from this seed but you have to pick it more often every three hours okay so uh, pot the potato seed in here okay the the you get uh, every 10 minutes 19 food that means in one hour is 114 multiplied by 24 hours is 2736 multiplied by 36 uh, spots is 98,490 so it's less on this one okay then so the best one will be the hot pepper second best is saguaro seed so if you cannot claim every three hours you have to stay close to the computer or phone then use this one so this one still gives you close to 100,000, 97,000. And this one gives you 102,000. So the difference is not that big, but this one only every eight hours you have to check. If you don't have time to do that, at least get this one. You get 72,000. Okay, so now you know which seeds you need to pick, which are the best ones. And like I said, you need to unlock and uh, craft all the four gardens very important okay another way to get food guys is the treasure system with the let's see navar seed okay so if you get all the materials okay all of this you can craft navar seed which what it gives every one hour you can gain 600 food when you plant it and you can repeat this process so that means from this one you can gain 600 mi multiplied by 24 hours in theory around another 14,000 plus food okay per day okay let's see what other ways we have another way they that was added recently guys is gathering with your workers and fishing they added fishing okay from camp you can send your workers and you can go fishing very important when it comes to the workers try to that's why i told you you need to max your camp so you can 
uh, hire more workers from here try to get the the best ones okay the epic so and you can get up to 36 workers as you can see me i have 36 out of 36 so i have max capacity for workers why because guys you need them for many stuff uh, th from those 36 i have four that are for merchantry and those i keep only for mer merchantry so i have available to send them guard uh, gathering only 32 so now what i do i send them mainly for fishing most of them if not all of them so if you send all the 32 for fishing let's see what you can how much you can gain so let's go here uh, doesn't matter which of this if you go here here or sardines sardine they give you 24 24 food same like the white carp also gives you 24 food when you use it so doesn't matter where you go just depends on how often you want to uh, f farm like every one day every eight hours and so on okay so let's see for one day here you'll see normally it says in here it takes one day and uh, food 1440 but another important thing guys uh, it depends the or the quality of your workers like the vitality how high it is and their level so maximum vitality is 410 and you reduce in half guys the time and the food consumption so as you can see it w went down to 12 hours and 7 minutes and only 728 food so that means and uh, i get 72 of this so that means maximum amount of food per worker okay per worker i can get per day is like uh, 1400 1400 something okay so and the amount of food i consume when i do that because also you consume food uh, it's uh, how much 1400 about the oh, sorry sorry so that's the max the food you use 1400 and uh, uh, one f uh, 140 140 or something like that uh, fishes you get from one worker so let me see 144 fish okay that's how many per worker per day <coughs> and i told you uh, you can have up to 32 workers if they are all max vitality that means you you can gain maximum amount of fish so let's imagine that they are all with my max vitality so that means you can gain 144 fishes multiplied by uh, 32 workers uh, multiplied by 24 food because each fish each sorry <laughs> i'm a bit tired each fish gives you 24 food you get a total of how much 110,000 110,500 food per day from all the 32 workers if they are all max vitality guys and but this is not it Keep in mind you consume also food when you send them how much food well it's simple it's 728 per per uh, multiplied by 2 that's 1452 per worker multiplied by 32 is 46500 okay so that means if you subtract from 110,000 the 46,000 you remain with 64,000 profit in food per day that's a lot no that's a decent amount i would say so we are ready guys as you can see we we can make lots of food just you need to know how to manage all of this okay but this is not it there is another way that can give you also a decent amount of food that is the ranch guys for ranch also i suggest to get it to max level which is right now is level 20 if you have max level 
you have 40 slots okay for the range 40 slots where you can uh, add different types of uh, livestock okay which are those livestock and you can buy from the uh, merchant in every town well uh, you have the chickens let's see chickens okay they require one grid so one space and this one maximum capacity right now is 40 so you can up have up to 40 chickens the duration uh, that's the duration so after you place them you have to wait 24 hours till they start giving you eggs, uh, eggs sorry what am i saying <laughs> giving you eggs <laughs> so and time to harvest every eight hours they give you one egg okay not egg the food each egg gives you like 77 food so the food let's say food okay so every eight hours they give you 77 food so um that means let's see 77 multiplied by uh, three because three times you can have harvest per day that's 231 multiplied by 40 because you can place 40 uh, that's 9240 food per day how about the next uh, livestock the ships okay the ships they occupy two grids so that means you can put 20 okay at maximum capacity and they give you 675 food every 20 hours so that means 675 per day multiplied by 20 that's 13500 food per day okay and how about the last one the guanaco okay the guanaco this oc occupies three three spaces three grids so that means you can place 13 at maximum capacity the time to harvest it's 11 hour so that means you can uh, claim like two times per day and it gives you 821 food so 821 multiplied by 2 that's 1642 per uh, okay per guanaco multiplied by 13 that is 21346 per day so the best one is this guys the guanaco 13 so you can put up to 13 like i have so but there is another thing guys you can all these livestock you can butcher so you can see in here i can press and butcher let's see if it's better to uh, harv them like harvest them or to butcher them okay to sacrifice them let's see for i'll, I'll tell you already the best one will be the guanaco not the other ones still why so when you uh, slaughter them i get guys 5670 food and you have to keep in mind the duration till you'll be able to uh, slaughter it again it's 48 hours so after you place it you have to wait 48 hours to slaughter it again so that means every two days you can get 5670 so that means 5670 multiplied by 13 that's 30 because 13 you can place okay you can place at maximum capacity that's 73,000 food multiplied by uh, divided sorry divided by two because i told you every two days to see how much per day is 36.8 thousand so let's do that you'll see how it works so if i butcher this one and after you butcher they won't you cannot claim they will disappear okay they will die <laughs> normally no you can choose in here butcher all the see 68,000. One i placed it today that's why it's only so i have to wait see 46 hours i still have to wait so i can butcher it again so i can do this yes butcher all same so i get 68,000 food and now i got the food they disappear so what i can do i can buy this one it cost like i don't know 60,000, i think from uh, the the livestock merchant use all boom and i place them again now i have to wait 
wait now i have to wait see 48 hours that's two days so i can butcher them again so this is actually this gives you more food because every two days you butcher them you get 70 uh, 73,000 that's 36,000 per day so it's not bad this method actually is better so as you can see if if we were to add all this up it uh, let's see one second I'm gonna uh, calculate on the computer so 36,000 from butchering this plus from gathering uh, from workers fishing sending them to fish you get another 64,000 one second uh, okay so I forgot about fishing guys when you fish also you get fish uh, and every 15 seconds if you uh, fish um, manually you get one fish which can give you also food so fishing it's another way uh, on your main character okay so as you can see this one so depend on the grade of grade of the fish you get food more food more or less food okay so uh, in theory if you do it manually you get around maybe per hour 5000 food something like that per hour so if you do it manually if you do auto you get less because it takes about two minutes to collect a fish if you leave it on auto mode okay so we said 36.8 thousand from uh, from butchering uh, the guanaco uh, from uh, workers fishing you get 64 thousand plus from uh, planting in the garden another 100 thousand okay plus uh, let's see what else we have uh, Orzeca also give you some so anyways it's it's more than 200,000 food per day so now you know guys how you can get let me know uh, how much food you can claim which is your favorite method and if, and if you know other uh, method please share with us so till next time guys bye